I greet you all with the same greetings of peace that have been used from all the prophets from Adam to Muhammad. The greeting in Arabic of Assalamu Alaikum. It's Arabic for peace be upon you. Now, the topic for today is basically students being forced to go to religious establishments for after school programs. Now, I'm not against that. However, students should not be forced to do that. My daughter, specifically, was being forced to go to a relig religious establishment for an after-school program, which wasn't necessary. She shouldn't have been forced to. And when I contacted the teacher, told mandatory, and when I contacted the principal, after a little bit of time, he ended up saying, there's no repercussions for your daughter not going. And I asked him about future reference. He told me, contact the school board. I did. And I have a meeting set up where I would actually go and speak in front of the school board where other people do as well. I have a three minute window. So I'm going to do that. And basically for future, not have any students be forced to go to any religious establishment if they don't want to or their parents don't want to. Next thing I wanted to talk about briefly was basically religious holidays in school. Now, I have no problem and I'm sure a lot of parents don't have any problem with Christmas uh, Hanukkah, Easter, all being celebrated in class. Decorations, teachings of, etc., etc. What I want to see is Ramadan and Eid including in it. Because we need to teach not only our kids, but other students need to know why are these kids fasting? Why are Muslims fasting? What is this Eid that the kids, they take a day off from school for? Which, by the way, are unexcused absences. They should be changed to excused absences. But back to it, let's decorate, let's teach the kids about this. Now, for any parents who want to object to this, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of parents who do, then that's racism and discrimination. And if you don't want to allow Ramadan and Eid in, then what you have to do is you have to remove Christmas, Easter, and uh, any, relig any religious holiday from Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, uh, or any other, any other religion that comes in. So, we don't want that. We want everybody to be included, and inshallah, we can get this done. So, I ask Allah to please forgive us all of our sins that we have done knowingly and unknowingly, to show us the straight path, to bless all our brothers and sisters in all religions, Christianity, Islam, Judaism. Inshallah, He forgives us all and grants us the hereafter, peace in the hereafter. I leave you all the same greetings of peace I came. Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, see you soon.